dangerous financial advice. There's advice your parents have been giving you, the banks give you, maybe even apparently independent financial advisors will give you. Plenty of people giving you this free advice, which by the way is worth every penny, and it's really dangerous. And it's common, and it's not in your best interests. So, some of the most dangerous financial advice you have been given is to save money. Now, let me know in the comments if you agree with me on this, and let me quickly explain. Money is only good for one thing, and you're not told this. I'm going to tell you this in a moment. There's only one reason you should save. But the reason that your parents tell you to save money is because they've been indoctrinated by the banking system to believe that you can have a financial future, a retirement or a pension when you save money. You absolutely cannot. No one ever got rich or can get rich saving money and saving money will never give you a pension that you could retire on ever is physically impossible. You cannot save your way to wealth and you cannot save your way to retirement and you cannot save your way to a pension. It is impossible. There is only one way to build wealth and to build a financial future and a retirement. And I'll tell you in a moment. Now, why are you told this then? By the way, feel free to disagree with me. Everyone is entitled to my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give me a chance to sell this to you, though. So why are you told and indoctrinated and propagandized and taught to save money? Because the banks benefit the most from you saving money. Because people think that the banks are a public service. We're here to help you with your future. Look at all of our adverts. Come and sit on our sofa. Come and get some financial advice from our 17 year old. Give all of your money to us and we will look after your future and your retirement and your pension. No, the banks are a for profit corporation and their one motive is maximum shareholder value. That's it. That's all they care about. Maximum shareholder value for profit corporation, not public service. So when you reframe that and actually know what the banks are here for, why would they tell you that saving is going to be good for you? Because it's good for them. Saving money means that the banks get free loans from you in the trillions of pounds and they've made their own rules, which means they every 10 pound you save, which is a, an interest free loan you give to the bank where you get all the risk and they get all the reward. They have managed to sneak into the terms and conditions that for every 10 pounds you give them on an interest free or risk loan, they can lend and invest 90, nine, nine pounds out of the 10 pounds. They only have to hold 10% liquidity. Every £10 they receive, they're allowed to lend and invest nine on your risk. So, of course, they're going to say saving money is great for you because saving money is great for them. So you give them thousands of pounds a month thinking that you're looking after your retirement and they can lend it, invest it, make on it while you lose on it and while the risk is all on you. Now, people say to me, oh, yeah, but Rob, my money is guaranteed up to £85,000. Well, look at the terms. Because number one, it's per banking group, not per bank. So you move your money around to different banks, but actually one banking group like Lloyd's or RBS might own all those banks. And number two, have you ever tried to claim on insurance for something and not been paid out? So oh, my money is insured up to 85 grand. Well, do you want to try that? Do you want to test that? Do you want to see if that really works when the world goes to shit and there's a revolution and there's a run on the banks? Because personally, I'd rather risk the bank's money than my money. So I don't believe in these insurance policies. I don't think that, that, that they'll stand up. Do you know someone reversed their very small, cheap car into my very large, expensive car? They reversed into me. I wasn't even in the car. And me claiming on their insurance, because they reversed into my car, increases my premium on my insurance when I didn't do anything wrong. And you know, if you're trying to insure a watch or a car now, well, you know, if you, if you crash into the middle of that lake 
and there's 17 people in the car, at midnight you're insured. But at any other time you're not insured. It's ridiculous. So anyway, the only purpose of saving for you is to wait to invest. That's the only reason you should, should save. Saving is good for the discipline of not wasting money and teaching you to preserve capital. But you want to wait the minimum amount of time preserving your capital until you can invest. No one gets rich saving, no one on this planet. Everyone gets rich investing and savings you always lose. Now people say, oh, you can't lose on savings because the money's there and it's growing with interest. No. How can it be, like, answer me this. How can it be that interest rates are currently five or percent? But when you get a mortgage is eight or nine or 10 percent. So interest rates, let's say, are a flat five for, for ease of math. And let's say the average mortgage right now is eight. I thought interest rates were five. Yet you're paying eight. But then when you get your savings from Barclays, they give you 1.5. Interest rates are five. You save money, they give you 1.5 which is net 3.5 less than interest rates are. But then when they lend you money, they get eight. How does that fucking work? It works because that's the system that the banks have set up because they are a for-profit organization maximizing shareholder value. And, and if you think about it, this is pretty outrageous. But if you think about it, it's a pretty smart fucking business model. So I've reversed it and I risk the bank's money and I use money from the banks only to invest in assets that produce recurring income. I only see saving as storing. So I don't, I don't use the word savings. I use the word storage. Where am I storing my money? How can I stop inflation eating it? And then how quickly can I invest? That's essentially what I'm looking to do with my money. And the reason savings are actually degrading is because interest rates are always wiped out by inflation. Historically, you look back, by the way, forget the numbers that economists or the propaganda machine gives you to say what interest rates are versus inflation. Hotel rates are soaring, taxi prices are soaring, food, heating, eating, electric have been soaring. So when they tell you inflation is 3%, it's clearly way more, you know that, you're not an idiot, they think you're an idiot. And the only way to not become an idiot and not to become a clown in their circus is by gaining knowledge on how money really works. Savings only makes the banks money. Investing makes you money. When you save, the banks leverage you. When you invest, you leverage the banks. So if you'd like to learn more how to be a savvy investor, how to learn how to be um, a contrarian investor, figuring out how the banks create this amazing monopolized business model and, and you do it yourself but ethically and morally, I recommend you join Rob.team. Rob.team is my digital financial freedom pl platform to help you start and scale a business, make, manage, and multiply money, and build multiple streams of recurring income. Now, I'm not gonna charge you 100 grand like the system will to go to university for three, five, or seven years and get in 100 grand worth of debt. In fact, Rob.team is less than 20 pence a day. You can cancel any time. There's no ongoing contract, and there are hundreds of hours of courses, resources, and masterclasses to make, manage, and multiply money. So here's what you need to do. All you need to do really easily is now go and type in Rob.team. Stop watching. Just type in to any web page right now, R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. It costs less than two cups of coffee a month. I'm about to go and buy a coffee that costs more than you joining Rob.team every month. Hundreds of hours of courses, resources, and masterclasses on making, managing, multiplying money, investing, get your tax bill down, get your income streams up, learn how to be entrepreneurial, learn how to decentralize your money away from the system. Um, the, the, click, the link might be clickable. If not, just open up a web page, type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M, Rob dot team. If you don't risk anything, you risk everything. Why is it that people will give 100 grand to colleges and university to be in debt for 20 or 25 years to do a job they hate? And yet some people won't even invest 20 pence a day into themselves to learn, earn and invest. Probably because the system's indoctrinated you. Probably because um, you didn't know that there's a different way. And some of the worst financial advice ever is that you can save money and become rich and that you can save money
and secure your financial future and you can save money and build a pension. Um, I own a building there that's 42 units. I own one there that's 100 apartments. I did not develop those properties that pay me a seven figure income stream by saving money. I stored money for a short amount of time and then I invested into these assets. I leveraged the bank's money for these assets. So that one there I own. And I didn't save for 40 years, 50 years to buy that. In fact, saving money would never buy that. It would be impossible to buy that in my lifetime, saving money. Because you save money every year and it goes down with inflation over interest. So I'd never catch up enough to be able to buy anything like that. The only way you can buy something like that is to invest. But in order to earn, first you must learn. And to, in order to invest in real estate like that, and be able to make money in deals like that, you need, need to know how to do it. You need to know how to raise finance, how to get the deal in the first place, how to um, finance it with the right kind of bank debt. We've got a 2.9% mortgage, 2.9% interest mortgage for 12 years on some of our bigger property deals. Yes, <laughs> much better than current rates of eight, nine or 10. You need to know how to do this. And this is why I have Rob.team. This is why, by the way, I discounted Rob.team when lockdown happened. Rob.team used to be about five times the price. When lockdown happened, I dropped it down by 80% so that anyone could afford it. No matter even if you're living on these streets of Peterborough, even these guys can afford it because it's one coffee a month um, to help as many people on this planet get better financial knowledge. I haven't put the price up yet because people are still struggling. Business is still hard. So get in now at an 80% discount before I put it up to its full price. By the way, when you join Rob.team now, um, your price that you pay, you'll always pay that. It'll never go up when the fees go up. And you've got to get away from financial advice from independent financial advisors who aren't independent. And the banks and the media and, and, the, and the governments who are all in cohorts. You know, the people who control the mainstream media and the big corporations and the banks and the governments, it's the same people when you go up high enough. You know, the, the government and the central banks are supposed to be independent. So we can have independent regulation from the governments to control the, the financial system. It's not how it works. It's, it's not like that. They are what they're in cohorts. Um, and so usually anything that happens in the financial industry with monetary policy usually doesn't benefit you and usually benefits them because they are a for profit maximum shareholder value organization. You must know all this stuff. If, you did, if, if anything I've said to you, you didn't already know, that is why you are not rich yet. And it's vital that you change what you put in your mind. Um, because actually making money, it's not that hard. It is when you don't know, it isn't when you do. And that's why Rob.team is only 20 pence a day, you can cancel any time, there's hundreds of hours of content. There's bonus 12 and 16 module masterminds. I'm doing a 16 module financial freedom for kids, homeschooling mastermind. Your kids, if they're under the age of 18, can go free under your login. I've got a 16 module money mind mastermind university for adults. So i.e., what I would teach in university if I was allowed, I'm clearly never going to be allowed. I did a 16 module Rob Moore degree um, on better financial knowledge. That's going to be a 700 pound online course. Pretty good price for 16 modules, but it's in Rob.team now and you can get it for free if you join now before I finish it. And, the content's finished, it just needs to be made to look better. Thumbnails and that. So go join Rob.team, get all of that for less than the cup of coffee I'm now going to buy here. So just type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Please keep sharing my work if you think it's useful. Please keep engaging with me in the comments and challenge me and debate me and ask me questions on anything you're unsure about or you don't agree with or you do agree with. Please let your children watch this. Please share this in your community because... Um, if we don't work together to change the banking system and the government how it is, the monopoly is only going to get worse. The globalization is only going to become bigger. We're going to be in a cashless society. We're going to be in a social credit system. Our taxes are going to go up and up and up because we can absolutely see this is what's been happening and we must resist this and fight this. So Rob.team is the digital financial freedom platform in the sense of financial freedom, but in the sense of our liberty and our own freedom. Anyway. She's shouting, I better get out of here.
If you don't risk anything, you risk everything. Just type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M.